Hello friends, Sierra Perry here with a little thought for you. If you're anything like me, some months you read 10 books and sometimes 10 months go by and you don't even read one book. In December, I read one called Wildling. It's about a farm in England going back to its natural state after it had been plowed and used for agriculture for centuries. On that farm were old ancient oak trees, much like we have in the United States where we have sequoias that can be up to a thousand years old. In Great Britain, they have ancient oak trees as well. The unique things about these oak trees are there's not very many anymore. Some of the things that they do to young oak trees hamper them and they're not able to grow older because of that. Um, older oak trees have three things in common. They have branches that have lowered to the ground and they act as a second or third trunk. They have emptied themselves on the inside, the trunk looks almost completely hollow. And the third thing they have is not very pretty crowns. Much like a young oak tree will look like a broccoli, older oak trees, not quite so much. When I read that, I was immediately struck. That is so much like us in our Christian walk. As we get older, maybe some things come a little down to the ground and we have to lower our arms to keep us steady. We're not as strong as we were. We need help during hard times. And sometimes that, that limb that's come down is your mentor, or it's your Bible study group, it's your pastor, it's your friend, and they come alongside to act as an, an, another trunk for you to hold you up. The other part about emptying ourselves is that is so much in line with our Christian walk. Less of us, more of him. And within that, this oak tree isn't hollow and void of life. What comes naturally are other things come and live inside of it. Birds and squirrels and lichen and beetles. <laughs> they fill the tree and in turn they give the tree life as well. Isn't that so much like our lives? We empty ourselves and then we're able to allow others to come and live with us. We do life together at all times and we're able to give of ourselves to others. It's really common right now to say that we need to fill ourselves up. It's very much about self-care is such a catchy word right now. And really the Bible says kind of the opposite. We are gonna empty ourselves and give to the Lord. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy some time to yourself, but it should not be our main motivation in this world. My main motivation is less of me and more of God. And then I'm able to spread life to others. And then the part about the not beautiful crown. It can be said as we get older, some things change. Our crown isn't quite as full and our branches hang and sag in a few different places. And we might have some lichen growing on us or a mushroom here or there, but even those things give life to the tree. Those mushrooms, those lichen, they break down the dead rotting that's on the tree and the bark and it falls to the ground. And when a branch falls and breaks down on the ground, it gets absorbed and it feeds the very tree that it fell off of. We can make an example that that can be like sin and hardship in our life. What do we do when a branch falls, when we, when we make a mistake, when we struggle, when we sin? Do we come up really fast and uh, cut up that branch and haul it away and burn it for firewood so no one knows it's there? Or do we share that we've struggled and do we learn from it and do we let it get absorbed and do we grow from it and do we um, then change for the better and help us grow and become older? So I hope like, um, me, when you walk around on your walks and our drives in our beautiful county in the spring and you see those oak trees that aren't so beautiful, it might be an example to you to continue striving, to continue emptying yourself. Don't be afraid to lower that branch and ask for help. Lastly, I want to leave you with this. The reason those oak trees are 900 years old is because they lowered their branches, is because they've emptied themselves. So when hurricane force winds come, it blows right through. Young oak trees that are full of themselves with beautiful crowns are dead weight and that wind can just knock them right over and they don't have deep roots. So let's strive to be like those old oak trees where the wind and hard times can blow right through us and we will still stand.